Alright guys, this is Zaptrocity, and welcome back to another episode of Zap's Minecraft World. So, well, you can see, I have pretty much got all my stuff over to the storage room. So I've got my cobblestone here, so I can fill those up. This one here is supposed to be more of stone. I should probably change that. Bump. Grab a piece of stone. And bam. Yep, so I've got wood, um wooden materials, you know, stuff like that. Uh coal here, more coal spots, redstone, uh precious items and tools. Here I have dirt and gravel. Some gravel. Uh, here's sand, sandstone, and glass. And this is nothing, so... Uh, I think I'm going to save this for... Extra blocks, such as... The, um... Ice, uh... Netherrack, nether brick... Things like that. So here I have my food. Uh, my... My meat food. This is my pretty much plant kind of food. Plant food seeds. Um, here I have leather, uh, feathers, eggs, pa basically um, passive mob drops. And here I have saplings, um, lily pads, apples, that stuff. Here I have the wheat and I have a few seeds. Oh, what's that doing there? Um, here I have sugar cane. It's pretty much going to be all for sugar cane. Uh, there's some paper there. This has got some cactus. Uh, probably going to put other stuff than just cactus in there. Yeah. But that's about it. No, no, I have to show you this last layer as well. Um, these are mob drops. We've got zombie flesh. I won't open them. Bones, gunpowder, string and spider eyes, um, slime balls, but I won't get a lot of slime balls, so I've got, yep, ender pearls, records, you know, the extra mob drops, and I've got some, still got some free spaces, so, that's good, still good, um, I'm starting to move everything over here, I've got my enchanting table over here, and my four furnaces, that's good as well. Uh, my bed's on this mountain here. You can see I've been taking that out. Um, I've been trying to grow some pumpkins for the slime farm. Uh, the slime farm hasn't been very successful lately. I think it is the torches that are blocking up spawning spaces. And I haven't set up anything for it yet. So I haven't set up uh, like a killing system or whatnot. See? Nothing. Just nothing. So, I'm thinking it's this. And you can see here, right here, I've got some stone brick walls with kind of like cobblestone linings. That's in the ground as well. I'm thinking we need to make the slime farm deeper, like near diamond level deeper. Because this is... I, I, I just think that's how it works. I'm, I'm not too sure. I might take this coal, actually. But, um, today I have some plans. Today I think we are prepared enough to go to the nether. We haven't gone there yet, but I think we are ready. I'll need to get us some obsidian. Um, obsidian, that's about it. That's all I need. I'll just get myself some obsidian and... I'll be here soonish, so we can begin our exploration to the nether. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm by where we usually get obsidian, and there's a slime here, so I think, yeah, we need to make the slime farm deeper. 
that's our plans. We're gonna make them deeper. Ow. Ow. Come on, slimes. Alright. Um, yeah, I still need to get some obsidian. Let me go do that. Hmm. Okay, I thought I heard more slimes. To the obsidian. Alright, we got it. 28 obsidian I have. Yep. Uh, watch out. There's a creeper coming. No, don't blow up our stuff. Here. No, no. Oh. That was close. <laughs> okay. Um. Now, if we're going to the nether, we probably want to come with a few, you know, worse pickaxes. We don't want to bring our best pickaxes along. Now, I'm going to bring my silk touch pick here. I don't want to bring these. Mm, don't need an axe. Probably will need a bit of cobblestone though. Let's see. My arm is doing okay. Let's see, we need to get some iron. Okay. Sword. Shovel. Another pick. And probably another pick. Um, yeah. Let's put that back. Nope. Wrong chest. It'll take some time for me to get used to the new chest layouts here. Okay. Bam! Loads of sticks. And... Two more picks. A shovel and a sword. Nope. There we go! Perfectly sorted. Oh! Of course, a flint and steel. <laughs> Bam. Okay, where did I put my flint? Hmm. Found it. Okay, flint and steel, activate. Yeah, we need that. Um, water buckets. Not really going to be helpful. I'm in the nether. Uh, let's throw them in here. Yep, yep. This all seems good. Maybe take a bit more cobblestone. You never know when you may need that. Okay, we're pretty much set up. Um, now I'll tell you the reason why I was moving stuff from here. I want to put the nether portal right here. Yeah, you may be wondering why am I crazy of putting it so close to my spawn? Because, if you didn't know, um, my spawn points are just around here. I have decided to put the nether portal here, because, um, later on, if we die somewhere far away, it's going to be easier if we just, uh, spawn here, and we see the nether portal, oh yeah, right there, walk over to the nether portal, enter, and we're on our way. So... I actually think this is a perfect spot for it. Okay. Let's get my dirt out as well. Okay. Right there. Now you may be wondering why I have 28 obsidian. That is because I want to use portals for fast traveling and the place I want to go is the desert. Ho 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 There it is. There it is. The nether portal. Okay. I also wanted to try and um zombie pigmen proof this portal, like um set up a little trap for it so that when they spawn here they can they will, you know, die of some sort. I don't know. I'm, uh, easiest thing to do right now is just build a little trench here. Okay. Now I shouldn't be able to get up. Okay. Alright, let's enter the nether. Here we go. 
And our first steps into the nether. Downloading terrain. He's been being a good spot. Whoa! Near the fortress straight away. Sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh wow. It's quite high. Um, it's not a bad location because there's some, it's just a big lava pool right there. This is it's perfect for wither skeletons. This is like the perfect nether. Well, I, I don't know what the perfect nether would be, but it's quite near perfect. Um I'm experiencing a bit of lag as well. Oh my gosh, did I I saw a wither skeleton. Oh oh jeez. No. Oh, that's what I forgot. Bow. Uh oh, I heard something bad happen over there. Okay, um, let me go get my bow. It's probably safer if I did. I will meet you guys back in the nether. Get some glowstone. Alright. Get ready for our nether montage. Let's get some glowstone. And let's begin this montage in five, four, three, two, one. Glowstone.
And we're back here. I say that was a very successful nether ship. And look, our trap works. Now we just need to find a way to kill them. But that was so successful. I got two more bows, uh, two stone swords. Look at two stacks of and 20 glowstone. I think we could have gone for more, but yeah. Got some blaze rods as well, some magma cream, and look at that, 49 nether wart. So I'm thinking we should start a nether wart farm as well, and start growing some of our own, because they can grow in the other world as well. So that is cool. Better store some of this stuff away. Oh, still experiencing those lag issues. Alright, let's sleep. Ooh, man, and... We experienced some of our first gas ever. Um, running low on arrows now. So that sucks. But yeah, very successful indeed. I think maybe we should even start brewing some stuff. Alright, um, let's put some of this, uh, let's put, make ourselves a new area. Gonna put all our nether rack there. I don't have a lot. Gonna put glowstone, nether brick. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of that. And salt sand. Gonna put some coal in here. Tools. Put a bow. I'm gonna put that away. I never use my bows anyways. Put that away as well. And we'll head over to the mob drops. Uh, we can add in, and uh, we'll, we'll put it here. Bam, and we'll put in our arrows. Cool. That was very nice. Alright. Uh, I think we should really start a um, nether wart farm. I also think maybe we should start a mob trap so we can have, like, arrows for life. Hmm. Alright, I think... I think this episode's been quite long, in fact. Well, I've been exploring the nether for quite some time, but I'm not going to end it here for today. I'm gonna have I'm gonna show you some of my plans. Until um for what's gonna happen when you Yeah, whatever. Whatever it is you may call it, um Okay. Uh my plans um, 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 um let me get some just random blocks. I, I guess dirt might be alright. Alright, so I wanted to build a mob trap. I have explained this many times before in previous episodes that I wanted to build a mob trap, and I was going to do it around here. So I thinking, I'm thinking most of this area is going to be mostly farming, and then right here, here-ish, I'm going to put a mob trap. Now, how this mob trap's gonna work is I'm gonna use pads that um, I'm gonna use the pads that Etho uses, um, the ones that are three by three with the slab in the center that doesn't require um, signs. I quite like his mob trap design there, and it's gonna be high up in the sky. That'll be cool. Um, but I'm thinking um, I'm gonna have two. Uh, two pad, um, two, two mob traps. I'm gonna have one in the ground and one up high. Now, I, you may, you may be wondering why I'm doing such a thing like that. Well, I'm gonna have one mob trap in the sky, and that's gonna be using Ethos, um, design, pad designs. Then I'm gonna have one underground, that's gonna be only for spiders. So, we can experiment with, um, different mobs, uh, we can get spiders up here and we can mess around with spiders because they have that strange 2x2 two two, um, kind of hitbox kind of thingy so that would be interesting to experiment with so yeah that that's 
basically my plans. Um, by next episode, I think I should have started work on the mob trap. Um, I w hopefully would have um, done enough so we could do some experiments because I really wanted to set up like um, maybe a sorter system or creep um, creep and skeleton record farms, stuff like that. Um, but to end off this episode, we are going to build a nether wart farm. So let's find a good area. Well, since this area is basically our farming area, why not put it right here? That's it's a good area, I guess. Um, more over this way. Probably should light this area up a bit more. Okay, um... Let's say right here. Right here. Yeah. Oh yes, that update on the chicken farm. It sucks. It sucks. Um, it's really weird. Look, there's only one chicken in here. And it's because they they escaped somehow. I'm not too sure, but... When I, ca when I came by here, um, I, I heard dying chicken noises. Um, and then... I'd see raw chicken and a feather, like, right out of here. Right out here. I think what's happening there is the chickens are basically glitching out. So, I don't know what we're going to do with this. I think I, we might destroy it and make, basically, a um, normal a normal egg farm that most people would use. That's basically what we'll do there. Um... I'm going to move the tree farm, the cow farm, sugarcane farms, all over here, but that's only until we've got some more stuff sorted. That's basically the plans of the future. Right, let me get some salt sand, some water, some other stuff, and let's get started on what we could do as a nether wart farm. Okay, I want to let's see how this would look like. If we put a bucket there, a bucket there. Uh, it's going to go straight for down there. Um, I put in... Oh, man. Thought I had anti-water um, going everywhere precautions, but looks like I didn't. Okay, let me, let me grab that water again. Alright, how about if we put a block here? here? There we go, and that's alright. All flows to the center like so. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's always good. Um Hmm. My idea hmm. I don't know how this is gonna work too well. I don't think, but I think you can't use nether wart and bone meal. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't use bone meal on nether wart. So, uh, that leaves some of the bone meal kind of farms. <laughs> we can't use some of those. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got another idea. Okay, let's tear this apart and I'll have a look at some of my new ideas. Okay, so we want to make something, um, a nether wart farm, but the thing is, I've already got quite a f bit of nether wart and if we continually harvest it, we're probably going to get a lot. So let's not go by how efficient it is, but let's try and make a cool looking wheat farm. Um, wheat farm, I mean nether wart farm. So, I'm thinking of... Uh, I've got this idea in mind. It's coming kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like a blurred kind of um, plan. I kind of have a plan. It's sort of like a nether wart fountain. Uh, yeah. So, let, um, let's experiment with some streams here a bit. Okay. So... Pretend this is our soul sand pad. Let's grab that dirt. And we 
need to extend this out a bit. Needs to be at least five all the way around. I'll show you guys when I'm finished this. Well, I did some stuff, and I'm actually going to call it end for today. I did quite a bit of stuff actually, um, but that's all the time we have for now. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.